Welcome to Around the Zoo. I'm your host Sebastian and today we will be learning about red foxes. There are 37 species of foxes, but only 12 belong to the genus Vulpes, or true fox. The best known of them are the red fox, the arctic fox, the kit fox, the fennec fox, and the gray fox. The kind of fox that we have here at the new zoo is the red fox which is the largest species of fox. It has a reddish coat that is white underneath and a big bushy tail with a white tip. But not all red foxes are red. Some are brown, some are black, and others are silver in color. In fact, it is even possible for foxes that come from the same litter to be different colors. We have two red foxes here at the new zoo. Fiona was found as a kid in 2009 with knee and hip injuries. She was declared unreleasable because of these injuries and came to live with us here at the new zoo. Kitsu was born in 2014 and is also a rescue. Kitsu is more outgoing than Fiona and the two of them are great friends. Red foxes are omnivores, and in the wild, they eat fruits, berries, grasses, birds, and small mammals, like squirrels, rabbits, and mice. They also eat a lot of crickets, caterpillars, grasshoppers, beetles, and crayfish. Here at the new zoo, Fiona and Kitsu get a varied diet that includes lots of fruits and veggies, ground meat, hard-boiled eggs, and fish. Red foxes are distributed across the entire northern hemisphere from the Arctic Circle to North America, Central America, and Asia. They make their homes in wooded areas, prairies, and farmland. Though they are very adaptable and can be comfortable almost anywhere if needed. While they usually hunt alone, red foxes live in family groups and can make lots of different types of calls to communicate with each other. Because of so many dangerous predators, red foxes usually live only two to five years in the wild. But red foxes can live up to 15 years in captivity. Red foxes are crepuscular animals, which means they are most active during dusk and dawn. Fiona and Kitsuk definitely follow this pattern, and if you want to see them when they are most active, you should come toward the zoo's closing hours. While they will most likely sleep the day away, they will show you their intelligence and playfulness at dusk by interacting with each other and with the enrichment our keepers regularly leave them. With their long legs, red foxes are fast and can run at speeds of over 30 miles per hour. They are also excellent swimmers, jumpers, and climbers. Even with all this ability, the red fox will usually capture its prey by silently stalking it, gating as close as it can, and then pouncing much like a cat. Foxes are not considered to be endangered and are the most widespread and abundant wild carnivores in the world. Some of the red fox's predators include coyotes, wolves, bobcats, or cougars. But its most dangerous predators are humans who hunt foxes for their fur and kill them in large numbers because they think foxes are pests. In reality, red foxes can provide benefits for farmers and ranchers, as well as to people living in cities by keeping the number of rodents in check. Here at the new zoo, we hope you will make a trip later in the day to visit Fiona and Kitsu to see them in action and learn more about this beautiful creature. 
hope you enjoyed learning more about red foxes. See you next time round the zoo.